Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm actually just going to post footage from a talk that I went to at the University of Calgary um, yesterday and today. Today is November the something? 13th? 14th? It's November something. I don't remember the date. Um, what I do know is that yesterday and today I went to a workshop or a talk um, I think it was called An Afternoon with Erika Sakurazawa. Erika Sakurazawa, if you don't know her name, is a very famous uh, mangaka. Uh, she draws primarily Jose manga, where um, she explores uh, women's feelings, and I think that's sort of what she is highly praised for. Unfortunately, not very much work of hers is published in English, and it hasn't been in print in English for many years. I think there were about six volumes that came out in a series by Tokyo Pop in about 2005, and there hasn't been anything since, which is a shame. Her work is wonderful. Uh, when I first got into manga is when I um, almost right away was when we started collecting Erika Sakurazawa titles, and um, I wasn't ready for them, and so I actually took quite a long time for me to read through all of them. Um, I think I read maybe one volume back uh, many years ago, back when we were collecting them. Fortunately, um, not liking a title when I read something is not a good enough reason for me not to continue buying it. Um, when we were going to go and see Erika Sakurazawa here in Calgary, um, Jen and I both uh, reread through her entire collection that we owned. Um, there are six volumes published by Tokyo Pop, and they were wonderful. They were so good. And um, you know, as a new reader, I just wasn't ready for her style of manga. Um, she definitely has a very loose art style, which is something that I wasn't used to, definitely after reading things. Um, a lot of shonen and shoujo manga, where the, the art is quite tight. Um, her work is very loose, it's very um, sketchy, it's very elegant and fashionable, um, and it explores a female um, person in a way that I'd never kind of experienced. This is not um, the female experience that I have, but it is a true experience of sort of the female person, um, what their experiences are in relationships. Um, and not just romantic relationships, it's sort of just like the day-to-day -day life. Um, relationships with your girlfriends and relationships with the men around you and um, I think that her work just feels very natural and very settled and very sure of itself. Um, and um, uh, just reading it um, more recently, I know my sister had read it before, but reading it more recently, um, I really, really loved it. It really resonated with me, and um, as much as I couldn't necessarily comprehend the actions of some of the women in these in these books, I really felt like I could understand them as real flesh and blood, blood humans. So um, I really highly recommend that you go and check out Erika Sakura's out if you can. Like I said, there's only six volumes published in English. Um, hopefully because the popularity of manga has been shifting and increasing and we are seeing more and more Jose manga, maybe we'll see more of her work again in English. And uh, that would be incredibly... Um, it would be it would be so wonderful. Um, particularly, there's a lot of her new works which just sound absolutely fantastic and as she talks about it, um, you too will probably feel like I need to go and read these books. So um, at any rate, I am just going to share with you her talk here. Um, it is an edited talk. I am combining both days of the talk into the same one. I'm cutting out anything that I felt um, just didn't need to be shared or made the video too long or was duplicating. Um, and uh, I really apologize for the poor quality of this video. Um, I did have a front row seat, but I was filming on my phone and I was holding the phone the whole time. About halfway through, my hand just started to shake um, violently. <laughs> so um, probably better if you don't watch most of it. <laughs> because you may get seasick, and I will try my best in the editing process to, to minimalize that, but yeah, it got it got pretty bad there uh, towards the end. I am going to post two more videos after this one, um, both of her uh, drawing demonstrations, 
Um, after both Q&As on both days, she did a drawing demonstration. So I will post those on different, uh, in their own separate videos. Um, I just think that they will work uh, just as well on their own. So um, you can look forward to those. Um, but at any rate, uh, here's Erica Sakurazawa. Many of her manga appear in English translation, and she's particularly known for dealing with the feelings of women and the lives of women uh, in a genre known as ladies' comics. She also does uh, essays and lifestyle writing and has been a frequent uh, contributor on Japanese television as well. So we are very uh, lucky and uh, happy to have her here and to be able to welcome her to the day two of this event here in Calgary. We hope to have a productive dialogue and continue to sort of deepen our understanding of manga culture. And uh, if you would, please join me in welcoming our speaker for today, Miss Erica Sakazawa. So when I am in Japan or you know when I reside there, I do not feel I couldn't feel that much of that it was so popular in and abroad overseas. But once I uh, go overseas, I hear I can see first of all that it is uh, getting really penetrated, as well as I get to get interaction. I have interactions with lots of my fans in overseas and uh, especially uh, recently uh, one of uh, my fans approached me and said I, I was reading their comments over and over again. So those kind of things is only when I go out I feel it. And do you have any thoughts continuing on this question about sort of the place of ladies comics as a genre of manga and perhaps the importance of that uh, in Japan. あの、ベビースコミック、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま
僕普通にみんなあの少女漫画で活躍していた作家の先生たちがあの皆さん年齢重ねて女性漫画の方に移ってきていらっしゃるのでその必然的に読んでいた少女漫画のファンたちもそっちに移っていくっていう感じで自然にこうしている。So,、um, I can say that ladies' comic is very diversified in Japan.、Um, we have talked about shoujo manga, and not only that, two categories in between the shoujo manga and even、uh, the ladies' comic, we have a lot in between. So, it's very well diversified.、Uh, what I can say is that、uh, the very famous or popular、uh, artist, s h o n j o Manga,、uh, as they,、um, age, as they age,、um, they transfer into ladies' comic. Same as the fan, they shift together. So, that's what I see as the movement. That's how I see it. Which is many of your works、uh, involve relationships between women or love triangles.、Um, and many people have discussed how Jose comics offer a very positive space、uh, for readers to encounter、uh, sexuality. And so I'm wondering.、Um, What do you feel about this, this topic, and, and how has this sort of exploration of female sexuality,、um, why has it been so central to ladies' comics? やっぱりそこから先、ここから先のことを考えると、あのもちろん性的なこともあるし、その後、その他の人に心が移って、三角関係になるっていうようなことは、ごく普通にあることで、大人になれば。でその普通の生活を書こうと思うと、あのその性的なことは特別なことではなくてどうしてもあの入ってくるものなんじゃないかと思ってます。So for shoujo manga, you start to like someone, you approach, you become boyfriend girlfriend, that's it. But for ladies comic, it's beyond that as the daily lifestyle for our, it's very like our lives. So, once you're into a relationship, of course, there will be a sexuality, a sexual thing s going on.、Uh, you might shift your heart to someone else, then, therefore, you might start a triangle, a love triangle. So, if I want you or if we want to、uh, write up about the daily lifestyle, which is happening all over the world, it's natural to get into that、um, area, as I should say. So, you've done a variety of different media, but you're primarily a manga artist. I'm wondering what is it about manga as a medium, as, as a my guy, that allows you to tell these sorts of stories? Or what, what excites you about drawing these stories in, in manga? あのー、やっぱりその絵,絵ですよね漫画って絵が大事でお話ももちろんなんですけどもう絵を見せるものかなと思っているのであの一番その自分ではそこがあの書,書くのも好きだし。あのー表現できる部分かなと思ってます。I think、uh, manga is about drawing. Of course, the storyline is very important, but in order to express as expression, drawing、uh, holds a very、uh, critical or vital part. So that's why I like to、uh, express myself through manga.
We're surrounded by a number of your wonderful characters here. How do you how do you design your characters? How do you come up with your characters and your ideas for your stories? So, uh, first and foremost, uh, as for the Japanese uh, manga artists, we, all, we are always uh, rushed by uh, due dates, you know, we always have to make, be sure to make it on time. So you start with the story first? Mm. And then, so I will come up with a character that suits that storyline. That's interesting. Um, you've had a very long career and you've no doubt seen changes in the manga industry. I'm wondering, from the time you started, and now over 30 years you know, later, what have you observed? I mean, what has changed um, in the manga industry in Japan, or for you as an artist? The most difference I see the transformation will be was into digital transformation. あの、もちろん各方もあのデジタル化もしているんですけれども、その媒体がもう紙ではなく皆そのデジタルで読む方が多くなってきて、去年初めて紙媒体を超えたんですね。そのデジタルの方が売り上げがそうなってくるとやっ
So I figured we might um, start with a very simple question. How did you decide to become a manga artist? What was it like when you made that choice or told your parents that this was what you wanted to do for a career? あの、ま、uh, I was such a, uh, since the younger age, I was so crazy about manga. I used to write and draw manga all the time. So it was very natural when I uh, mentioned about that to my parents. They accepted well. Were there any um, manga artists that you enjoyed reading growing up? Or what manga artists had an impact on you as you started your career? あの、一番初めはその今あの映し出されてるサザエさんが日本の新聞に載っていたあの4コマ漫画であのとても国民的な誰もが知ってる漫画なんですけどこれが最初です。so if you take a look around you, you will see this Sazai-san, very, very popular manga. Uh, all the Japanese, it's truly uh, Japan represented uh, manga, which you say. It was featured in Japanese newspaper uh, in four channel manga, and uh, I was inspired by that. I'm wondering if you could take us through an average work Day. What is it? What is a day in the life of Erika Sakurazawa as a manga artist look like? Do you get up? Do you listen to music? Do you, I mean, how how is your your work um, look like on a day where you're drawing manga? Ano, ma asa, kuji, hachi, kuji ni okite. I get up around 8 to 9, 8 around, 8 around. And at 10 o'clock, my assistants arise and start work. We work about two hours, and then we do lunch together. で、また、あの、引き続き仕事をして、continue、uh、working. We don't really have a tea time. <laughs> and we do have uh, dinner together around 7 p.m. Yeah. And we do have dinner together around 7 p.m. And we do the so once there's a due date or it's a due date to do, um, after dinner we will continue working some more. Until there's a final train or sometimes they even miss the last train. Are you good with deadlines? Do you, do you always meet, meet your deadlines? Um, まあ、<笑><笑> Okay, so um, the thing is, after I got married, then I had kids, and I became, I followed more of the daily routine, and I became better at meeting the deadline. But still, there's a little difference uh, with it. She was just joking that, you know, my family and I do have some sort of jet lag, it seems like. We don't know why, like a time difference between Ottawa and Calgary. I'm like so behind them all the time. So, I guess I'll ask you a little bit more about your family, if you don't mind. So, you have a very interesting job in that you're drawing manga, and I'm wondering, what is this 
like in the home environment with your children and, and your husband and this you know, work-life balance where it sounds like you're, you're working really sort of all day, all day long. で、仕事は毎日してるわけじゃないので、1週間のうちの3日間、4日間が仕事のの日なので、アシスタントが来て。なので、残りの3日、4日はその家族と私だけの時間なので、なんとか大丈夫です。so the thing is, I don't work 24-7. An um, uh, assistant comes probably about three days or most four days in a week. So that's a time or day that I work. The remaining days, the three days, um, I have my own private time. I spend time with a family, and I'm, a hus I'm the wife and uh, the mother. And so that's how I balance. Do your children read your manga? What do they think about? Your works. So this is what you see right here is an essay manga for uh, features about her real life. So uh, my daughter actually appears as one of the characters, so she is interested in reading this and she does read that often. あの、やっぱりエッセイ漫画以外のちょっとエロティックなものもこっそり読んでいたみたいで、あの、ママの漫画エロいよねとか言われることもありますね。And to my surprising fact, uh, it seems like secretly she was reading my uh, manga that has a little bit of erotic touch. And a day she approached me and said, "Hi, mom, yours is a, a little erotic. You know, I have that comment given." <laughs> So you've, you've traveled many places, and you're here in, in Canada and um, interacting with many of your fans. I wonder, do you have any, um, any particularly uh, memorable experiences you've had with, with fans, either in Japan or uh, abroad? To my surprise, <coughs> uh, I was in Ottawa and then now in Calgary now, um, it was really, really, um, I was very pleased to know that my manga has been penetrated and going, circ been circulated uh, more than I expected, and I am very um, glad and thankful about that. Um, あの、結構昔の作品が多くて、20年ほど前に書いたものだったりするので、その本を大切に持ってきてくれて、あの、サインを追って言われたのは本当に嬉しかったです。And uh, I have been encountered uh, my fans that um, well, my comics uh, manga has been translated like uh, more than 20 years ago around there but some of my fans just bring that book uh, i can see that they have read it many times that they bring it like a treasure and they ask for an autograph so um i was very pleased and that was very touching as a professor no one asks me for my autograph <laughs> <laughs> So I, I understand that um, you have also had a very positive effect in that your work has been very positively received by the LGBTQ community in Japan, almost from when you began drawing manga. I'm wondering if you could speak to the way in which you uh, include or the way in which you've spoken to those uh, those communities through uh, your manga. あの、多分私がその LGBTを
アンケートを取った時にね1位になったことがあるんです。So,、um, I believe I'm the first manga artist who、uh, dropped about the theme、uh, surrounding LGBT, and、um, I became very popular among the gay fans. So,、um, in the, we also have a gay magazine in Japan, and when we took a survey, I was,、uh, was uh, ranked number one for the best uh, likened uh, manga. Um, yeah. その私が初めにあのそういうものをテーマにした頃時はほとんどその世の中でその語られていなかったことなんですけれどもでも私の周りには実際にゲイの友達もいたしレズビアンの友達もいたのでその日常の中の自然なそのこと恋愛形態として。So,、um, when I started、uh, writing up about this、uh, topic, it was kind of taboo still in Japan back then.、Uh, but at that time, I, I had gay friends, I had lesbian friends, and it was very natural for me to、uh, draw up about that、um, as one of the styles of romance. So you've drawn a wide variety of, of manga and, and essay manga. I'm wondering, is there, perhaps this might be hard to answer, is there one particular work that you are most proud of in your career? And also, is there a work that you found the most challenging、uh, to create as, as an artist or a writer? 本当に今までいろんな作品を書いてきてあのどれもやっぱり思い入れがあるんですけれどもあのそうですね最近やっぱり自分がじあの今やってる仕事がやっぱり一番好きででもこの作品がその単語語になってるものの中だとしたらこの一番初に紹介されてるバレエリュスというあの100年前のバレエ団の話を史実に基づいてあのちょっとフィクションも入れながら書いた作品あれがやっぱり自分の最近の中では好きです。So,、um, I have、uh, so many、uh, books published, as you may know. So,、uh, comic published, and every single one, of course, I,、uh, it's my babies, right?、Uh, but if I have to choose one,、um, at this moment in time,、uh, it should be this one, Ballet Ruth, that you see on this、uh, bar. And、uh, you see this wallpaper.、Um, it's about a ballet a story of 100 years ago, and it's based on a true story. そうですねあのまあこれも手術に基づいた作品なんですけどもう一つあの東京バレエ団という日本のバレエ団の創立者の佐々木忠次さんという人のことをあの漫画にしたんですけれどもそれはあのあのフィクションを入れる、入れる余地が全くなくて、もう、それは佐々木さんが亡くなったばかりで、その佐々木さんをよくご存知な人がたくさんいたので、こういうふうには書いてくれるなっていうことをすごく言われて、あのなかなかその形になるまで大変だったんです。So, if I had to choose one、uh, thing that it was challenging,、uh, this ballet burst was based on a true story, but、um, there was a little bit of fiction、uh, in it. But I also have a, a manga that I've written. It's、uh, about Sasaki Tanasu, who is the founder of Tokyo Ballet, very well known, renowned、uh, ballet uh, uh, founder in Japan. 
So there are lots of fans. So by the, when, at the time when I uh, dropped this comic about Tokyo Ballet, Mr. Uh, Tadatsugu Sasaki, he just passed away, and I had so much films for him. That's why I created. Um, but at, again, there's so many people who knows about him, so I really had to do a very deep uh, research. And if I write a little bit different about him, uh, there will be a lot of comments saying, don't write that way, don't do it that way. So I had to redo it over and over again. So that was a, a challenge, uh, a memorable one for me. So good news is if you want to take a peek about this Tokyo Ballet, uh, Mr. Sasaki, her comic, uh, go to Tokyo Ballet website and you can see uh, four complimentary for five or zero uh, stories. So go ahead and take a look. You could collaborate with any manga artist, living or dead. Who would you collaborate with? And what kind of manga would you hope to draw with them? So I've never had experience collaborating with any manga artists, but if I do have a chance to, it should be Machiko Hasegawa. Would you keep her would you keep her style or would you try to put in some of your own trademarks? So this but I do respect her a lot, so um, I think I would naturally uh, follow her touch if I did have a chance to collaborate. I hope everyone can join me in thanking our guest for answering the that um, it was really wonderful to hear from Erica Sakurazawa and get some insight into her work and her life and uh, so I was so thrilled uh, that she actually was able to come to Calgary because we don't get a lot of cool people like this I was also incredibly surprised and a little disheartened to see how poorly attended it was um, there was a, a decent amount of people there but um, I think I live in such a different world that um, I was just expecting there to be a rush, you know, people pushing each other over. I was prepared <laughs> to push people over <laughs> to order, in order to get a seat and uh, I didn't have to at all. So I felt a little bit bad um, on that accord, but at the same time I got a good seat for it so I was really pleased. Um, at any rate, I really hope that more people, uh, more mangaka um, of that level of Erika Sakurazawa are, are encouraged or invited to come and visit us here in Calgary because that would be amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Um, thank you so much for watching and look out for part two and three where you can see her uh, demonstrate her art. Bye for now. <laughs>